It's hard to be a kid and not follow college football in Florida. But for Eric Almarola growing up in Tampa, his football was anything but. Here's Adam Alexander. Eric, what's up? What's up, buddy? Thanks for coming to Tampa. Oh, yeah. Thanks for agreeing to show us around your hometown, man. Yeah. This is going to be awesome. This is my grandparents' house. So what are you plans for today? What do you guys got going on? Well, I think we're going to go uh, check out Villa Madonna, the school I went to there in middle school. And I think we're going to go grab lunch uh, at West Tampa Sandwich Shop. And then we're going to go out to Dirt Devils and go. I'm going to go show Adam uh, the go-kart track yeah, where I spent most of my time. We're at your middle school. I'm going to find out some dirt <laughs> on you here. Coach, what's up, Coach? How you doing, buddy? Good. How's it going, man? Oh, wonderful. My name is Oscar LeBoy, and I teach physical education here at Villa Madonna School. Eric was on the basketball team. He ran track, and he also played volleyball for me. Sisters! <laughs> you know, when your kid has dreams like that at a young age, and you work hard, you can achieve that, and Eric definitely did. When you have someone like Eric, what does he do to inspire you to hang around and keep giving back to the kids? <laughs> Just him coming back, that's all I want to see. That's what makes it rewarding. All right, Eric, you dribbled with your right hand and you took the layup with your right hand. Right. Won that, buddy. <laughs> Pick up the pace, Almirola. I'm enjoying my tour. But I'm also ready for a little lunch. You buying today? I'm buying, and I got one heck of a spot for you. My favorite place to get a Cuban sandwich. Let's go do it. Let's go. Hey, Sam, you heard Eric's buying, so you decided to meet us for lunch. Absolutely. Really good. I missed that. That was hard. You don't get that anywhere else. You can't get a Cuban sandwich like this in Charlotte. I'm going to go back in and order another one. Is that all right? I'm going to the go-kart track. <laughs> all right, let's do that. That sounds good. This is a fun place, man. I learned, I learned a lot about racing here. I learned a lot about life here. My grandfather made me work here. I had to come here on the on Sundays after the races and clean up all the garbage that people left behind. This is it. This is it. Dirt Devil Speedway. So you were a racer that was also prepping the track, right? Oh, yeah. That was part of the deal. Like, And, and he made that very apparent like from the beginning. It's like, hey, we're going to build this track. We have to work at this. And we've got to make some money at this to be able to go do the other racing that we wanted to do. Eventually, you, you get the call to go drive in the development program with Joe Gibbs Racing. What was that like, calling home and saying, I'm leaving Florida and I'm going to North Carolina? It was awesome because I knew how hard we had worked as a family and how much we had sacrificed, you know. And then to have that opportunity to call back and say, like, I think this might have paid off. So cool right there. I'm going to tell Adam to bring home one of those Cuban sandwiches. Up next, we're going to check in with those.